chicken friends, it's Molly with chickens.org and today we're going to be learning how to train your chicken with a clicker that looks like this. Uh, some of you may be familiar with these, using them to train dogs mainly, I believe, is their biggest usage. I just picked this one up at PetSmart. Um, you can find them for a couple bucks. Uh, you could use anything really in place of a clicker, any noise maker, because when I press this down, it's going to make a little click sound and that just gets the bird's attention. So all of the tips that we are coming up with today are from a book by Jane Keys called Click With Your Chick. We're just gonna be going over the basics today, but if you're really interested in learning more about training your chickens, please check out Jane's awesome book because it goes into way more detail about how to train than from a professional trainer. So before you even start training your chicken, the first step is you need to bond with your chicken. If you're gonna try to get your chicken to do a particular behavior, that chicken needs to trust you. So like when we first got Harper, she couldn't even come near us. It was a classic like, oh, I'm gonna run away from you and we'd have to chase her for 20 minutes before we could catch her scenario. Now I can just come over and pretty much pick her up and she lets me pet her and it's great. And that's from bonding with her. And the way you bond is you just Go out, be with your chickens, give them lots of treats. Um, I have a call, so when I say, she knows I have treats for her, and she'll come over to me. And that's before you even start training them for a particular behavior, you really wanna make sure that they're comfortable around you. Otherwise, they will not perform for you. Also, in a training session, you don't want to wear any jewelry or anything that is going to be shiny and distract your chickens. I'm wearing earrings, but I don't have a long necklace. I don't have any rings on because your chickens will be distracted by that. No nail polish either. In today's training session, we're gonna be training Harper, this chicken here, to play a drum. And we're gonna do this in a stepwise fashion using operant conditioning which is where animals learn to behave a specific way because you give them a reward for that behavior. So this is the most common type of animal training because it works and it's just being kind using positive and negative reinforcement with the chicken and getting them to do what it is that you want them to do. So with this type of training, we are going to be rewarding the chicken for the first while that we're training them and then when they get the behavior right about 80 percent of the time we're going to stop rewarding for that behavior because they've learned it just a quick note jean goes over in her book that using adversives such as pain fear or emotional distress does not work with chickens so if you were to yell at harper for not getting the trick right or if i were to yell at harper for not getting the trick right it she doesn't understand, you're just being mean to your bird. So we try to stay away from adversives and we're just going to use positive and negative reinforcement based on you did that behavior great, you get a treat, or you didn't do it right, you don't get a treat sort of thing. So for a training session, what you wanna do is you wanna separate your chicken from the rest of your flock. I brought Harper inside because there's less distraction for her from outside, there's not as much food around. I can keep her on a table, and this is what Jean does as well. And I have also locked my dogs outside so that they don't try to bother us. So what a training session consists of is I'm just gonna let Harper do her thing, and every time she does a behavior that I like, I'm going to click my clicker like this, and then she gets a treat. And it has to be immediate, so she just saw that I didn't do it right. But um, the, the biggest part about training your chicken is that you need to be on top of your clicker and your treat giving. So the clicker is not going to signal a behavior you want the chicken to do. Clicker is simply, you did this behavior, I'm going to reward you immediately, or I'm going to click immediately to let you know there's a reward coming. And see, she already knows what this means. So. I just cut up some pork here because Harper loves pork. You can use anything that your chickens really love. Um, my chickens love scratch, but scratch is messy. So if she were, if I were to fill this with scratch, she'd come over and just kick it all out. So you want something that they can grab right away and it's a quick treat. 
that's all it is like yep you did a good job here you go so this method of watching your chicken and having them rewarding them for what their behavior is allows you to do a chain of behaviors which is just a string of good behaviors that they're going to do in succession and you reward them either along the way or eventually at the end of that chain of behavior so a trick that Jean has in her book is you want to put your treat in like a measuring cup or something that you can hold and then I just click put the clicker on top so that I can easily hide this behind my back I can click she see and then she knows the treats coming but she can't see it because she will t come up and try to take it from me I think the hardest part about training your chicken with a clicker is actually training yourself to do it because you need to make sure that when you are training with them you're standing kind of still you don't have on any extra jewelry to distract them but if you give the chicken any cue then or it could be a look, it could be scratching your nose. If you do something that um, they could interpret as a cue, you're messing up your whole process. So you wanna make sure that when you're training the chicken that you're just standing there, you could be looking at what it is that you want them to do. You could be looking at the chicken and like have them do their thing. Um, throughout this video, I'm new at this, so I'm not great at it, but it's something that you really need to alter your own mindset before you can train your chicken as well if you want to be successful. So we're going to start today's session and our goal again is we want to get Harper to play this drum and she's never done this before so you get to see what she does. So we're going to do this in a stepwise fashion. First I'm going to click every time she walks towards this paper plate and I'm going to put this on the table and then every time she touches the plate I'm going to give her a treat and we're going to practice this over and over until she starts getting it and then I'm going to bring the drum out and what I've done is put the same pattern on top so hopefully she'll just come over and start hitting the drum. Now she seems to have the hang of hitting the paper plate, so we're going to bring the drum in.
So you can see Harbor went from not knowing how to play the drum this morning to just after a couple of hours training her with the clicker method. Now she'll hit the drum for me and I have her to the point now where she'll do two taps and then she gets a treat, but you could just keep this behavior going to make her do whatever you wanted the behavior to be. So as long as you just practice with these methods, you can alter any of the behaviors that you want. So it's really easy. Honestly, anyone can do it. If you have an afternoon, you can get them to do something pretty cool.